we're in the operating room right now with a uh, laparoscopic fundoplication by Trupe with chlorography. That is the official name of the procedure. But if I were to put it into more or less layman's terms, uh, this would be a laparoscopic removal of an esophageal hernia from a woman's abdomen. Now, uh, the, the surgery is being performed by Dr. Konstantin Puchkov, the leading uh, specialist in his area in Russia. The uh, surgery is being televised over to Rome, where the 22nd Forum of Endoscopic Surgeons is taking place right now. At the same time, 30 surgeries are being simultaneously uh, televised, broadcast in the uh, center, so around 5,000 people which are present in Rome at the conference, and around 15,000 other surgeons from all around the world are able to watch this and 29 other surgeries and uh, maybe learn something new from this. Now, uh, Dr. Pushkov, like I said, is the leading surgeon in this area in the country, and he has explained to us what is the main difference between this particular way of uh, removing a hernia, for example, and the traditional, more invasive procedure. This type of surgery is keyhole, meaning not through a huge incision, but through several small incisions in the abdomen. The surgery is quick, safe, and virtually bloodless. I've personally done 640 such surgeries. It's a rather large number. We've been getting there for quite some time, developing our technique and learning from European colleagues. We have also spoken to one of the patients who has just undergone a similar procedure last night, and this is what she had to tell us. I didn't have to prepare for this surgery, unlike before. I came in the morning, had the surgery last night, and I'm feeling fine. It's a lot less straining emotionally. I can even walk and got up on my own this morning. Uh, now, Dr. Puchkov has uh, spent the uh, last 10 years traveling all around the world and participating in various workshops and uh, studying abroad. He's uh, studied in France, the U.S., uh, Singapore, just to name a few countries. Basically, he's holding uh, numerous, numerous certificates from all over the world. He believes that the more you study, the more you, the more you pick up on something new, especially in the field of something like this and surgery, uh, the better it is for you and for your patients. He's also, of course, Trans, uh, transmitting that knowledge to other doctors all around the country. At this point, there is about there are several thousand surgeons in Russia uh, who perform similar surgeries, uh, lep laparoscopies. Uh, unfortunately, it is not available to everyone. But uh, Dr. Puchkov is also traveling to various uh, hospitals in Moscow and all across, the, all across the country, and he is uh, able to perform uh, surgeries for free for those who don't even have insurance. At this time, this type of equipment is not available in all our hospitals. But the government is allocating a lot of money for such programs all across the country. And I think we'll get there soon. So this particular uh, method of surgery is uh, spreading rapidly across Russia. And Dr. himself believes that it's just a matter of time before this procedure will replace completely and totally the invasive procedure, which used to be uh, something of a custom.